I'm Madison Mirabella. I'm Miranda Dowler. I'm Trey Wheeler. And I'm Aung Boo. And this is our School of the Future. Our school is called Tennant Castle Academy. We chose Tennant because that's the last name of a Scottish actor who played in the Doctor Who series. We chose this because we wanted to connect our students with pop culture. Our school is located in Edinburgh, Scotland, one hour away from the city. Our architectural style is medieval. We want to give our students a historical atmosphere with historical architecture. Since there are a lot of castles in Scotland, we decided that we could revamp them and use them for our school. Our school consists of five different towers. Four of those towers are for different students' focuses, and one, the middle tower is for rooms that all the students will use together. In each tower, two of the floors are for dorms, and one of them is for commons. Three of the floors will be used for classrooms. Four different focuses are STEM, medical, liberal arts, and the arts. We have circular levels with a circular hallway. We have pie-shaped classrooms surrounding the outer edge. Because of this, everybody will be able to see the front of the classroom. The floor is also slanted so that sound will be able to carry. In our school, we have circular shaft elevators for equal access with a spiral staircase in each tower. We also have moving walkways in the hallways for equal access and easy transportation. In each of our classrooms, dorms, and around campus, we're actually going to be having these tables, which are touchscreen, which is pretty cool because each kid will get a card so they can plug in and start working. It almost acts like a flash drive. Our school will be incorporating solar panels, wind turbines, and a geothermal heating and air conditioning system. We will have one greenhouse for each of the four houses. The crops will be used in the kitchen and the leftovers will be donated to the community. All of our windows will be using theochromic glass. They, these windows will adapt to changing sunlight intensity to reduce the heat load intensity in buildings. This will save us a lot of money in heating and air conditioning. Collect the runoff from our roofs and use it for irrigation for our greenhouses and farms. We will be collecting salt water from the bay for our restroom facilities. Picture this, we use 1.6 gallons of water each flush and we usually go three times a day. And we have 2,000 students attending our school. That is 9,600 gallons of water we're going to be saving each day, which is a lot. Because we are using salt water, we don't want the pipes to oxidize, so we're going to use polycarbonate plastic and outline them in steel to make them sturdy. When the students go back home on a weekend or a holiday, they will be required to do at least three hours of community service. Since this is a boarding school, during the winter and summer holidays, the building will be open to the public. We will be holding camps and seminars for kids for free. This is a picture of the diagram that we've had since the very beginning of the entire project. It shows all of our math and calculations from when we made our model. Our scale is 1 inch equals 25 feet. It also includes our layout, including our dorms, classrooms, library, great hall, and kitchen. There are arrows pointing to different levels in our buildings. We all worked on our, this diagram and we collaborated to show our ideas on how we wanted the layout of the school to look and other minor details. The result. Four houses, three renewable energy sources, 2,000 students, and one school in the future. Special shout out to Miss Wool, Mr. Zingali, and Miss Dowler for all of their support.